On the microphone have been very entertaining, and uh, that's one thing you're going to get with these two sides. Obviously, as Lockie said, one side looking to jump into the top two. Energetic and insistent run short, but long it goes, and looping towards the back post, swung into the middle. Well, not the tallest man out there, but at the same time too, that service is what they're going to need for the past 90 minutes. Big chance brewing here though, as Stefan Zinni is in behind, and a good save to match by Pierce Clark, but the danger not averted. Ahmed looks to drive it in. It's chaos in the middle, and Zinni eventually turns it home. Massive protestations from the Thunder defense. The champions keep on marching, or at least it looks that way. Goal in 13 appearances. Let's go. Ooh, and that's a strong challenge though from the man we've just been talking about. And that could be trouble. He's going to be dishing out some discipline. And it is a straight red card for Jordan Smiley. Oh, great ball for Yusuf Ahmed who's in behind. And there is only one result when that is what happens. Yusuf Ahmed doubles the lead for Avondale. up and it's a great save from Pierce Clark down to his left to Blake Carpenter plays it narrow through the channels with a great turn in the middle to find Zini he'll get the strike away and that is the third goal of the evening for Avondale FC in the 51st minute a simple bit of play through the center corridor and they are 3-0 up any more chances afoot for Zinni, who checks onto his right, let's perfect position. Looking to flick it across to Zinni and doing so. Mels curls one in, fightingly into the box, and the deftness of touches from Yusuf Ahmed. Well, Stefan Zinni brought up his brace. Yusuf Ahmed does the same. We're going to sit on the change here for the home side, Denon on Thunder, with Danny Dixon coming on. George Ott has used his body really nicely here. Will he get another goal against Danny Nong Thunder? Yes, he will. It was always coming from the New Zealander. Off the bench. Off. And away onto the score sheet in quick succession. Chance coming here. Between this is a long time. And six could be on. Listen, Diaz charging through. But their team is absolutely stacked. <laughs> it might be a conversation for after full time, but their team is stacked. That's a great bit of control from Diaz, who posts it through the legs. Another substitute with instant impact again. It's just what he does, Liston Diaz. It is 6-0 Avondale in a short space of time, but will he be entering into a potentially historic scoreline as down goes a player. It's Stefan Zinni. Yeah, no, it's a penalty. Given. Yeah, definitely had to be given lucky, I think. All in readiness at George Andrews as Zinni converts. Seventh heaven for Avondale. And Stefan Zinni with a hat trick. Especially if Thunder gets something back here, but that's the scoreline as a result, perhaps. But they didn't die wondering in this game. As Carpenter has slipped in behind. He looks to get in on the act. And, well, he'll play a key role. But it'll be an own goal in the end. An eight. And so Avondale on track for their biggest win in NPL Victoria history, breaking their own record from last season against Altona East Phoenix, a State League-based outfit. As we come to a close here, well, mark it down.